like CCB. Hey, everybody, it's David from the Cali and Jordan squad, and we're live. CBE battle. Let's go. I've got Zach's collections here. Time out. What football? Who's football? Who's football? What foot? There's no football. Oh, oh that UFL oh. crap. Nah. Was, was how come you're not nah. watching football? Oh, is that is that the um, stuff on NBC? Yeah, no thanks. I, I, it'll, 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 it, it's gonna end just like all the others about week eight. I have, I've not. Um, I think I watched a couple. I think I watched the first game last year when it was because I think they merged again this year, right? So. Yeah, they took the two the two leagues that failed, merged them together. And I'm also kind of ticked off because the, the um, NFL new kicking rules. I'm like, oh, I don't know. And that's coming. I like it. It's ball. about to, no. And here's why: it's about time because everybody is tired of oh, touchback ball at the thirty again. Yeah. Because I, at that point, why would anybody even have a place kicker anymore? Yeah, that's true. But no, this I at least it's something different. I think it could be good. Corderell Patterson. I, I, I was, I was going to say you guys picked up a, a really good guy for that. If he can, if he can find a seam, and he can be gone. Well, he, wasn't that odd? That, wasn't that odd that the very next day they did that too? <laughs> I know, right? Like, I, oh, because the thing is, they they really don't need a running back. Like they have two. No, they don't need a running back. Receivers, I, there's a couple I, I'd like to see him grab in the third round, like third, fourth round. There's a couple. It's a deep receiver class, it's deep a, receiver a, class. It's a very deep class. And a lot of juniors. Mm. Um, you know, you got obviously Marvin Harrison, but um, uh, a lot of people are forgetting uh, there's a Rice receiver. Yeah, there is a Rice, yeah. Yeah, that's Jerry's son and another McCaffrey. Yeah, I saw, I saw McCaffrey too. Yeah. Yeah, he's um the uh Christian's younger brother, but he's a receiver like his dad. Okay, I like thought the, that like he was Christian's man. brother, and I was like, yep. that's yeah, that's plus Frank Gore Jr. Right, he, he's a running back too, right? Yeah, run, yeah. And then what what happened? It was um the son of Jerome Bettis. Plaxico Burris and I think Ike Taylor all committed to Notre Dame. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah, like Jerome Bettis Jr. is going. I to hope Notre it's not Dame. one person. <laughs> Sorry, I hope it's not just one person. I hope, hope, hope it's three people. <laughs> no, it's all. It, it's weird. It's like wow, all three of them of all things. Like, well, Jer Jerome Bettis went to Notre Dame, right? Yeah, Jerome Bettis went to Notre Dame. Plaxico Burris. I don't think did. I don't think Plax. I don't remember Plax go going. But it, but it, but it's just so random that the the kids of three Steelers that all played on the same team all committed to the same school at the same time. Uh, oh, I yes. got me a. Hold on, dude. For Justin, I got me a Don Rafael, uh, Connecticut. H O N H O N Republico Dominica. <laughs> hey, we've got W Vox in the house. Three good hey, well, nerds. How's it going? Jay Thompson's in the house. Hey Jay, you should have oh. been um you should have been watching the game last night. We ended up losing uh 17-16. A bad on a kick. blown field goal. On a blown field goal. Because there was some guy, I don't know who this guy was. He couldn't see his face. But there was some guy, he's like, oh, the TV was tilted weird. I couldn't see what I was doing. I don't know. It was it sounded no, no, no. like so, so sounded like one of the worst. Out excuses of all time they call the time out and okay so so when when you see the it's thing right it goes up and then, so you hit it up here and then you have to hit it right in that little little box thing there right so when it came down it got halfway there and then all of a sudden you couldn't see it anymore so then you had to like guess i guess where where that box was going to be and yeah it was it was it was it was not good Hey, Jay's face is in the house. Benny Blades' nephew is in the son of Brian Blades or another sibling? Because oh wow, those two. Benny Blades' nephew is in the draft. Wow. I mean, Benny Blades was, wasn't a half bad player. No, he was he was pretty good. What about them Leafs, David? I went. Hey, Jay's mix. I went to see them play Tampa Bay on Wednesday. How how were the Leafs on Wednesday, Jay's mix? <laughs> it, it was a pressure kick, but Jay Thompson, you had. I think he had two sacks that game. I'm like, it wasn't the defensive fault at all. It was, it was good. 
Penguins are garbage. Hey, cat friends, how's it going, my friend? All right, we're going to be battling with the Tops 2024. Uh, look for exclusive yellow base card parallels. Woohoo! Uh, 59 cards. Uh, Although, did you notice on the side? Uh, Packs with a special insert may contain only 51 to 57 cards. I, I, I did. So I, so I went for like the lightest one. And there is, and there's autographs too. I guess look for relic and autograph relic cards. Yeah, well, um, I mean, we know you can pull relics out of these. I think some yeah. guy pulled out of twenty five bat relic out of one of these a while ago. I have, I think you beat me big time once, right? Yeah, with, with that, despite with despite that the you... magical double numbered trout that was there. <laughs> I, 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 meant, I meant to go and find those cards for tonight because those will be going into the CBE um, history vaults. Um, so the CBE, um, so if you go over to, uh, the card battle entertainment, um, we are on YouTube. Um, I am building that, I'm, I'm building that, uh, YouTube channel. Uh, I'm going to be doing profiles of every CBE battler, including the man sitting beside me right here. Oh, Lord. Um, so yeah. Hey, Hawaii 5.0, how's it going? Um, but I will, yeah. I I got your message. I will put you as um, W Vogs backup running back um, because he needs help. He's he he's part to blame last night for losing. Um, he fumbled at the start of the game on the goal line, and that's twice in two games. I just can't have that. <laughs> Budget Rips is in the house. How's it going, Budget Rips? Hey, we got the teacher in the house. The sports card ripping teachers in the house. Yo. Nice. All right. So let's go through some of these rules for the CBE sanction matchup. We've got one point for every Toronto Blue Jay and Pittsburgh Pirate um, card. We got two points for a rookie card. It does not include future watch cards. Future watch cards are not rookie cards. Okay. We got three points for memorabilia cards. We got four points for numbered cards, 26 to above, which I think it goes to what, 2024? 20, <laughs> um, uh, yeah. Five points for a numbered card, one, one of one to one of 25. Um, six points for an autograph card and something new in the CBE. Um, everybody out here, Brian basketball's budget rips, sports card ripping teacher stay to the end because you guys will be responsible for three points. You can pick your favorite battler or you could just pick whoever has the best cards and Clearly the I person win. with everybody. the most votes gets three points. Everybody loves me. I, well, I, exactly. That's why I kind of put it in there because I'll the probably, only, the because only, I'll probably the only, be up by five. So I said, the only people one, that I'll, don't, I'll give you three. <laughs> yeah, the only people that don't love me are people that haven't met me yet. <laughs> hey, if, if I don't have an ego, nobody will. So, And also remember... If you join, if you join a membership, if you uh, if you put in a super chat, everything goes back to the CBE. Um, we're going to build this thing. We're going to build this thing to the top. All right. So before we continue with the matchup, um, I just want to say something. I just want to go through um, the history of this battle between me and Zach's collections uh, because this is probably battle number five. I think we're like, Tied 2-2 two, two or something like that. Um, I think or, so. And we've had some tank. I, 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 right I, I believe you're correct. I honestly can't remember, but that sounds about right. I believe we're 2-2. Two and two. Um, So Zach's Collections and Callie and Joy Squad has been on a collision course from this monumental and epic battle for the last year. Zach started in CBE with a lackluster effort easily getting beaten by channels like Julie Farnell and Cash and Dad, and also me, Callie and George Squad. I think I won the first one with the two Mike Trouts. So let's go. Um, but just like just like the old WWF, right? just like the um, <laughs> one, two, three kid, um, you know, Razor Ramon beat the uh, one, two, three kid once, and then what happens? The one, two, three kid ends up with a big victory. He gets he gets lucky and he gets and he gets a big victory against one of the one of the pros 
of the pros. And that's what happened here. Zach's collections beats Callie and Jordan's squad. And it was it was devastating for me. It was a pants. But it took Zach's collections to a whole new level. Um, and then he started this winning streak. And then he started a tag team with uh, Zach Sports Cards and Collectibles. Um, hey, cool. Dave, Dave Collects. Yeah, yeah. Um, and they formed the tag team, Zach Squared. Um, so, Zach, you've went from a marginal CBE um, battler to becoming one of the best and potentially the favorite to win the tag team championship. So you mm-hmm. went from a marginal battler to a possibility of a champion. First off, let's not call it a comeback. I've been here the whole time. But, <laughs> no, that you know, it, it, it's one of those things. Like, everybody always has that one that they can't get. I think I might be that for you. <laughs> it might be. You know, like, look, it's like, you know, Aaron Rodgers could never handle the San Francisco 49ers. Exactly. Peyton Manning could never handle the playoffs. You know, just Aaron Rodgers just only could win one Super Bowl and then nothing after that. <laughs> Mellow Dope Live is in the house. How's it going? Firebox breaks. I'm sorry after my monologue. How are you doing, my friend? Uh, Brian know. Basketballs has uh, entered the chat as well. Two, two, uh, baby. Let me go back and see. I think, uh, oh, pick six cards is in the house. Hey, pick six cards. How's it going? Um, I, just, I just ran across him earlier today in a surface. I'm not street. sure if, okay, I can't, I can't add you right now. Um, Why'd you break the universe? <laughs> no, just, uh, um, just on uh, StreamYard. I could probably go on my phone and probably put you as a moderator. So you can, uh, if you haven't already subscribed to some of these awesome channels, uh, Dave C, yeah. I, I, I'm taking that Steve Clex, yeah, yeah. In the house. Thousand boys in the house. Just like comic whatever entertainment that popped into a stream the other day. I was like, if that's not David, he really missed an opportunity. Wh- which one was that? When your other when the other the CBE account popped oh, the CBE? into the stream. Yeah, no. I'm thinking to myself, like, if that's not David, somebody really dropped the ball. <laughs> yeah, right. No, that was that was me. And uh I'm I'm building that channel up. I'm hoping um, at one point to get like a bunch of battles going and like half of the, half of the battle would be on this channel. Half would be on like someone else's channel and then some, and then a little bit on the CBE network as well. Um, All, all videos will, will be going on to the CBE. So you can check out the initial tournaments. We do have a champion. We have sticks. G is the champ. We've got uh, red rum as the intercontinental championship and watch out. And the thing is, I'm like, if everyone new here, if you guys want to uh, possibly join in the tag team tournament, that will be coming in pretty soon. Um, we're also doing these one-on-ones as well. So, if you know, this is a good chance. You know, Zach beats me. He's going to be right up there with Julie Farnham. Uh, Julie Farnham is the number one contender for the Intercontinental Champion. Yeah, and who knows? It. Zach could be if right I have there. to go against her, I don't have anything. <laughs> not, not a chance. You, you, we've all seen what she's been pulling. No, that ain't, ain't no ain't she, no. She pulls way. absolute fire all the time. I'm open ain't for no. I'm open for a couple of Mike Trout number cards in here. Maybe a one of one and then a one of 25. Uh, yeah. That box doesn't look as shiny as mine. Is it still sealed? Hey, it's sealed. It's sealed. Look, there's, it, there's tape here. There's, there's tape. There's you can't blame you can't blame a guy for asking. <laughs> but all right, do you want to do the honors first? Do you want me to go first? I'll go. Yeah. I'll go. Yeah. Okay. I got you. Let me well, get- and actually, like I like I was telling you before we got on here, this is the first of the baseball stuff I've seen this year. The market has been or the it's just been weird. Yeah, like, though this is so- any hockey. Which again, we talked about that ain't happening. And this is the first of the baseball. I like the design. I just haven't had the chance to see it yet. You know what? I really thought I liked the design, and it's funny because I, I so I opened up uh, a couple hobby packs for the um, for shorts, and I was like, I still like it, but I'm like, okay, it's not as. I remember go, uh, commenting on Sports Card Ripping Teachers Channel. I'm like, oh, these cards look amazing. I still think they look amazing, but uh, not as good as what I had thought. 
but we'll we'll see how these look. And it always is different when you're seeing somebody else opening it than when you actually get it in front of you. you That's know, true. There's always that. All right. Well, I trust. Hold you. on one second. I got my piece of paper here. I got. I'm not even. I'm not even ready here. Is that a thick boy? It is not. You're lucky. Oh. I, I saw. I saw a bunch that were together, but it was all. It's a. Uh, all the same uh same border color but it's oh no it's like it's four different cards completely separate all right here we go and then let's see all right okay Ooh. we'll try with the got a little you got your on okay i'm gonna put the stuff over there that's not it lars newt bar greatest name ever <laughs> i love that name there right, we got a rookie there's a rookie soriano Cincinnati Reds in an all-black uniform makes perfect sense. Oops, that's the wrong way. <laughs> we got Kyle Schwarber for the Phillies. The wrong side of the state. What do we got there? Ooh, Naylor. Naylor oh, that's a few stars. Oh, was it? Oh, okay, that's what that was. I couldn't tell. Uh, that's not a rookie, I don't think. No, it's a cup, though. Yoshida. I don't know what are we what are we classifying the cups as the all star rookie? Oh, I never even thought. Okay, let me see it. Yeah. Yeah. Um, no. No. Okay, I didn't think. No. All right, moving on. Oh, what do you got? Matt Walner, shout out Julie Farnham. And I can't tell, so you'll somebody will let me know. Is that Lane Thomas? For the Expos, shout out Lisa Z and Sticks. Ooh, Sticks G. Yeah, Tigers team card. Shout out Zach and Adam. Max Freed. Hey, Bert. Bert's Beats in the house. Yeah, Brandon Woodruff. Oh, man, we're not getting a whole air's a rookie, finally. Jesus. Wow. Brendan White. Two rookies. Yeah. Alex Thomas. Max Muncy. Muncy. No, Jake no stud, uh, no uh, Pirates or Jays. What's going on hey, here? There we go, rookie. rookie. Finally, Jesus, three. Joey Votto, let's go. Uh, Wheeler. He's wheeling and dealing. Another future stars. That's a nice I like one. That. I like that. That's the old school look. Chris Bryan alert. Let's go. Don't talk to robots. God, man. That's young Kim. Man, I am getting skunked on wow. uh, the oldie rookies. Haven't seen any Pirates. Haven't seen any Jays. No. Rays. We got here Astros team card. God, Mateo. I'm getting some yeah. decent cards. Yeah. Byron Buxton. Just Minnesota. Good God. There we go. Jesus, a rookie. Oh. Oh wait, did I did I pass a J? Uh. You, no. s- you skipped a West a Westberg rookie. Yeah, I got I got the rookie. So we'll take that another Braves. Oh, there you go. That's a good one, Michael Harris. You got Freddie Peralta. Freddie Peralta. Blansky. Oh, there's a blue. There we Jay. go. Finally a Jays. Biggio. Kevin Biggio. Uh, White Sox rookie. Oh. We got Reed Detmers. Uh, nope. Brad Keller. No, Ramirez. Oh, there we go. Finally. Jesus, something else. Uh, the old stars of MLB. We got Bobby, Bobby Witt. Oh, oh, nope, that way. Ooh, we a twins? Blue twins. Is that anything? Is that numbered? Mm, no, it is not. Oh. But here's one of our exclusive yellows. Well, there you go. It's a Brewer. Brew crew. Another C.G. Abrams. All right, back to this. There we go. We got. Oh, well, there's a rookie. rookie eight, what's that, 89? Yeah. Yeah, that's it. That's the 89 back. Nice. There you go. Stars of MLB. Who's that? Corey Seager? He's definitely not a rookie. Uh, Jazz Chisholm. Nice. There's a rookie. rookie. Pete Crow Armstrong. Mookie. Mookie Mookie bets. Mookie. Oh. There we go. Bucko. Oh, no, wait. No, not a Bucko. I thought it said Pirates. (laughs) No. 
Well, that's a sweet that's a looking, nice looking card there. Grand Gamers, Willie Mays. How's that? Take that. All right, finally a rookie. Now you're gonna go on a little streak here. No, probably not. Griffin <laughs> Canning. Yeah, streak over. <laughs> Freddie Freeman. Do you bet you're not a Dodgers fan? Do you no. want to change your team? <laughs> Josh Lowe. There we go. Rookie. Red Sox rookie. There's a trout. I win. <laughs> is that numbered? I want Excuse, if it's, if if it's it is, numbered, there's something wrong. If it is, here. I got your box. Uh an Astros. Tyler O'Neill. My God. Finally, a pirate oh, rookie. There we go. Oh, that's three points. There we go. I'll take that. It's because uh, we add the points. Diamondbacks, nothing. A couple more. Marlins. That's no Chisholm. Jazz Chisholm. Last card. The rookie? It is not. No. <laughs> All right. That was, let's... that was disappointing. So one, two, three, four, five, six. So I have 22 points. Am I correct? How many? At 22. How many are rookies worth? At uh, two points. Oh, that's why. Two, four. I was like, I have 13. <laughs> Eight, 10, 12, 14, 18. Yep, that's what I got, 22, because of the three-pointer. The one three -pointer. God, that was a terrible hanger. Oh, the Willie Mays is a nice card. As, as I was going to say, that Willie Mays is nice. And th th that blue one's not numbered? No, I thought it would be, but it is not. Um, I, I thought it was. Yeah, no. Go through. I don't think anything was numbered in this one. Eh. Yeah, that, no. that that Willie Mays was really nice. <clears throat> uh, go check out Bird Beats is killing it with the shorts right now. I don't like he's uh, he's he's doing really well with the shorts. Yeah, I got nothing. All right, I have to beat twenty two points. Can I do it? Let's see. Let's find out. I got uh, I got some writing okay. implements. Oh, what a bummer of a hanger. Hangers are not bangers. <laughs> well, unfortunately, not this time. They were not. Oh, is there a thick oh, wait, one? Nope. There? Hold on. I missed a rookie. Oh. Did you? There's an you Orioles. Jordan Westberg. As, 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 oh, so that's what Will said. There's a Westberg. Okay, thank you. Well, I, I, I thought I saw that, and I'm like, and then for some reason my brain didn't process it. But thank you, Will. Okay, I should... be 24 points all of a sudden. Yeah, Lars Bo. Yeah, ma, shna, ma. Na, ma, na, ma, na, ma. Okay, yeah, we're gonna start yeah. off with a Chas McCormick. Hey, we both started off with a with a Houston Astro. Hey, Adam's Ooh. card closets in the house. Adam? Hey, Adam, how's it going? We got our first rookie card, Zach Geloff from the Oakland Athletics. That's uh, that's from the Vegas right. Athletics. We got a, a Ryan O'Hearn from the Orioles. We got a Estrada, Farrell Estrada from San Francisco. Actually, I should put like all my rookies together here. Yeah, that's what I was trying to do. Um, we got oh, we got AJ Smith Schwar from there the Baltimore Orioles. That's two more points. They fire. We got a oh, how in the heck do you pronounce that thing? El Elhius Montero. Elhiris? Sorry, Elhiris? maybe Elhiris? I don't know. Elhiris? Elhiris Montero. We got a Cal Rally from Seattle. I just sent to him. There's oh, did you? Yeah, we'll see yeah. if he sends back. We got a Reese Olsen, Detroit. A shout out to uh, Cole's Comic Claims as well, who's a big Detroit Tiger fan as well. So that is there we go. Six points there. We got a Chicago Cub, a Miguel Amaya. We got a Clay Holmes from the New York Yankees. We got the Cincinnati Reds. What does that say? Resilient Reds rookies. Oh, do I count that as a rookie card? Huh? Huh? I don't know. No, no it's, a, no, it's a team card. Good Jaron Duran. 
Hey, Perch, how's it going? We got a Matt Manning, Detroit Tiger. Detroit. We got a Ryan Jeffers, Minnesota Twins. We got a Andrew Abbott's pitcher for the uh, Cincinnati Reds, rookie card. That's four, closing in. We got Tyler Anderson from the Angels. We got a Cole Reagans from the Royals. Uh, Christian Bethencourt from the Tampa Bay Rays. Oh, we got another Tiger. Hey, I, I, I got the CWO Magic right now. Brain of White. That's the magic that no one wants. Alec Thomas. Max Muncy, Jacob DeGrum, Alec Marsh, rookie card for Kansas City. We got the um, AL Central rookie cards on lockdown right now. Joey Votto. I think I got that one. You did. Uh, Lidoy Taveras. <clears throat> Dane Myers, rookie card. From the Marlins, we got a oh Ryan Mountcastle. Ooh, we got a, Adam. Yes, hit me up on William Instagram. Contreras. We'll I got a decent lot of Max Maz TTM oh, Maz. If you're interested in a trade or something, oh nice. Yeah. Uh, Kyle Finnegan from Washington. We got a oh look at this guy's name. Freelander. Freelander Barroa. Freelander, that's a new one. He's a he's a he's a rookie card. We got it. Kenley Jansen. Edwin Diaz from the Mets. Oh, that's a nice looking card. American League leaders. Shohei. Shohei Otani. There you go. There you go. Was it Shohei Garcia um, and Lubob? Garcia and uh, Lubob. Yep. Very nice. There's, there, there, there's the back of it. Home run leaders. Let's go. We got the Chicago Cubs. Too bad it wasn't the Pirates team card. Adbert Azale. Azale. We got Seth Browns. Seth Brown from the Oakland Athletics. Oh, nice. There we go. Who's that? Blue Jays. Blue Jays unite. Let's go. That's that's a point for the good guys. No, I'm not there. <laughs> Jameson Italian. Yeah, see, there's one of the blue ones, too, that, that you just got. Oh, that's backwards. Yeah, I know. It's not numbered, though. <laughs> I have no mm -hmm. idea why it's numbered. Oh, it's a nice one, though. It's another one of those National League leaders. Ooh, Spencer nice. Strider, there's one for uh, Zach Sports Cards and Collectibles. Zach Gallon and Justin Steele. I guess that's the is that strikeout leader, probably. Probably, yeah. Um, uh, wins leader. Oh, wins leader. And we got a... Uh, oh, okay, this is the yellow. Uh, Braxton Garrett. Not a rookie card, though. That's, that's a shame. Yeah. We got a Christian Encarnacion Strand rookie card Here's from the rookie. Reds. Right, so that's one, two. We got, oh, nice. We got a Cardinals Mason Win rookie card for the cards. Nice. Uh, yeah. 21. I'm four points away. And there's an Adley. Tried him too. We'll see if that one comes back. Oh, well, that'd be a sweet one to get back. I'm going big with the baseball ones. Why not? Oh, th that's a rookie card too. Yeah. Marco Luciano from San Francisco. <clears throat> 23. We got a. Oh, a J Rod. J -Rod. Very nice. And so we got a. Corbin Carroll, a couple big rookie. Oh, 
I got a Grand Gamers as well. I, I, I think that was yours, right? With uh, Was it a Grand Gamers? Yeah, the Willie Mays one, yeah. So there's an Ichiro. Not numbered, though. That's a that's a shame. All right. I need, I need one point. Dylan Cease. Um, Escurry Ruiz. Uh, Texas? No, Win. Minnesota? Oh. Minnesota. Emmanuel Minnesota. Chase. Oh, tied There's it off with that one. Don't know who you are, but he'll probably be gone soon. <laughs> let's let's take a look at his stats. He is. I can't even, can't even see it. Uh, three and actually, you're holding you're holding a pretty good one facing the camera. Is it? <laughs> he wasn't yeah, even. He I was like looking at. Oh, there. Oh, Anthony Volpe, but it's not the win no, though. Stars. That was somebody's rule. Oh, oh man, who, who put that rule in? I. Yeah, I, I don't understand this person. Oh, they, they, this. I well, I guess I tied it right. So no matter what, uh, it's yeah, it's tied, it's tied by my count. But you still got like Michael a Walker. Cards. Oh, there it is. South, South Freely. Then we got a Ryan Nelson. Uh, San Francisco Logan Webb. And oh, and we ended off with a, a Rojas rookie card. There you go. Well, I got, I got that. 28. 28 points. It's, but it's weird. You didn't get a trout. I no, I, I know, right? Like, what is up with that? Why is there? Why is there no trout? Actually, it's funny because I, I saw the yellow one, and I'm like. Oh, I, this might be the numbered one, and then I and then yeah. I remember what you had said earlier, and I was like, "Oh, I guess." Yeah, no, that was just um. The, <clears throat> oh the yes, I forgot. Okay, so um, everyone, um, vote for who you think had the best pack, uh, because yeah. remember, neither of these were very good. Let's be honest. <laughs> or, or 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 pick your or pick oh, your yeah. uh, top voter. Uh, put put the name down, um, Zach or Callie and Jordan squad, and let's let's see who gets the three points. God, I don't. I honestly couldn't pick out like who the top rookie I snagged would be. I don't really know too many of them. Yes, I was gonna say I don't even know who the big. Uh, I mean, Ellie De La Cruz is, is the big one this year. Who? Uh, Ellie De La Cruz. I think Ellie De La the, Cruz. Uh, Cincinnati. Sorry. So right now we've got a one. I did get some good names though. Two us uh, uh, one, two, um, three. It's a tie. They both stunk. <laughs> one and a half. Yeah, no, they, whoever said that, whoever said that, they are not wrong. We yeah, no, it. they were they were not wrong at all. No number cards, yeah. no mem cards, just a bunch There's of some decent cards. looking cards, a couple nice inserts. I guess David needs to wear a black hat, the villain of the story. <laughs> hey, if, if 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 you're not a villain, you're not trying. Well, I would, I would. The only good thing I will hold on to is the Bobby Witt Jr. Stars of the MLB was a Chrome one. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a that's a nice one for sure. But the other than that, like it was you know, just a pretty okay hanger. Got some decent names. I guess I, I I guess I had like I had two Julios. So that's pretty good. All right. And a Corbin Carroll. Um oh sports card ripping teacher knows who he's going with. He's going with David. Is more Cubs. Uh, yeah, and, and not only that, but I think I had the team club one, right? So uh somewhere in this mess but uh yeah I this one i had another future stars oh i did yeah, uh know. you had yeah i don't know either of them a uh, bone nailer i've heard of hmm i don't know but don't worry folks 
there will be bigger battles on the horizon. There will be, but okay. So we have to we have to uh, get the three points in here. I think Zach, you get the three points plus three, which would make it twenty. Yeah, which brings me up to losing by twenty eight for me, twenty seven for Zach. If you can find one more point in that, it's a tie. Yeah, and then I really nothing. screwed myself. But <laughs> nah, there ain't there ain't nothing. Uh, the answer is a sweep from these sets. I'm learning more about baseball from you guys ripping, so not sure who won. Um, it was yeah no that th this one was a tough one. I'm like it was. Uh, yeah, I mean it's. I mean these some of these would look nice to get signed. Like oh, the yellow boarded ones would look nice. I don't know. Ooh, CJ Abrams. I don't think signed. So I, I, I just don't understand why they put like a card that was like backwards and not even have it numbered or anything. Yeah, mine. Mine it's wasn't like, even backwards. Mine was just sitting there. It's like just, just get the one. There we go. Sports card ripping teacher. There we go. There's the there's the card that won it all right there. The Chicago Cubs team card. Let's go. Well, can't win them all, but I'll win the next one. Well, it's because I didn't have my partner here. The beard decides to tie. No, there, there, there's no tie. That, there's no tie, Jay. <clears throat> the person that won. Is the person that won, and that's me. Rainbow foil. Oh, but, yeah, I forgot they did those. The backwards one. A chrome SMLB should be at least one. <laughs> Maybe but, they don't. but then we'd be given points for absolutely everything. There, there's just Isn't too much. Because we, we open you kind of do, though. We open up hockey. Um, we open up uh, football. There's battles of everything, so we can't, we can't just go into the inserts and ugly. Well, I don't know, but would have won by me. more if you had a beard. <laughs> well, that's the thing. That's the reason I only lost by one. <laughs> Get me in the game. Oh, uh, no! I think something recently just came out for football or something is coming out soon for football i can't remember i know rookies and stars is out i need to see if i can find some i don't know we have um what um um illusions we i can but we don't have the mega boxes of illusion uh but again I, 84 dollars at our walmart for illusions football i'm like i, I remember picking up illusions football two years ago i think it was joey b's rookie year or it was um, or it was like um, Justin Fields and all those guys, um, but I don't, I don't, I don't think I'd pay eighty two dollars for that. No, I'm like, no, no. I, I absolutely wouldn't, and I haven't even seen it. Like I haven't seen any American football. I've seen more soccer and racing than I've seen uh, football. Weird. Um, I think uh, Julie and a surfer, I believe had a battle with the, with the illusions football. Yeah. And, they just did an illusions. And I think coming up, they're doing a rookies and stars too. They do. Yeah. I, I, I can never find rookie and stars. I don't know why. I can't either. And it sucks because it's such a cool series. It's one of the best one, football ones they do every year. <laughs> Six is eight away from 100. Let's go. I'm not sure what we're, what that uh, is all about. Pick six. Pick six cards. Because in the stream earlier today, he was in the 70-something. Oh, oh, okay, okay, okay. Oh, okay. oh from the 100s. Okay, I gotcha. <clears throat> gotcha. And Julie, they, they did. Julie won. Yeah, Ju Julie, I'm like, she is a CBE legend. Um, <clears throat> watch out. Um, the very first uh, profile, CBE Battlers profile, is going to be about Julie Farnham. So uh, watch out for that. Probably hitting tomorrow. Um, and then there'll be one for the champ, Sticks G, and then another one for the Intercontinental Champion, and that's Red Rum. Red and Rum. Uh, it's going to go from there. There's there's a bunch of us out there. There's um, Zach Sports Cards and Collectibles. Um, there's Julie Farnham, Sticks G, Red Rum. Uh, Cole Comic Claims, even though he's uh, he, he only comes out for the big events. He's 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 he's, he's like a Brock Lesnar, um, where you know he's only going to be for not. the title. <laughs> no, hopefully, hopefully not. <laughs> hopefully not. <laughs> yeah, hopefully, hopefully not. Well, we all know that's why he's still employed by W by the WWE because <laughs> K 
Kids, I'm sorry, but read your history of the people that the WWE have protected. That's all I'm going to say. Uh, yeah, it, it ain't pretty. It's 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 not at all. Uh, David, you hit me on the eye with that pen. <laughs> Back away from the screen. Then. <laughs> uh, uh, Isn't WrestleMania tonight and tomorrow? Yeah, it is. Yeah, WrestleMania is tonight and tomorrow yeah, night. It's been blowing up with WrestleMania. I believe you have the tag team um, Roman Reigns and The Rock versus uh, Seth and uh, wait, oh, Cody Rhodes. Rock is back in wrestling. It's almost like he fears that his football league is going to go belly up. <laughs> Like his acting career. Sorry, he's but been, it did. He's been uh, he's been back for the last uh, month, two months or so. So he had he was supposed to. So WWE had given him. So they were going to finish, um, not finish. They were going to start the story of The Rock versus Roman Reigns. Uh, but then the fans wanted Cody to finish his story, and uh, that story's like, never going to be finished. He's going to be eighty five years old, still trying to impress his father. Get out of here. <laughs> like, uh, it's just, I don't know, man. It's like more of a clown show, it seems, than it ever has been. I don't know. I, I think. Um, then again, football's following suit. Look at this offseason. Look, look at the storylines that they have. I'm like, okay, the Rams versus Detroit Lions in the first round, and the Rams were supposed to be a nothing team this year, and they end up making the playoffs and then facing off against the – right, and they traded quarterbacks. Uh, it's just absolutely insane. And then you have, you have like, the Buffalo Bills, Kansas City Chiefs, Baltimore Ravens all – oh, Hold on. Are there any – hold on. Let me look real quick. Are there any Bills fans in the chat – because you guys just handed the AFC South to the Houston Texans. Yeah, can now. we thank you for that? Like, give me Good a break. Work. Tennessee was right there. We were oh coming God, back, the and the then you guys sport? did that. Did, and it's funny I because I was go. I, I was going to say. I was going to come out and say, um, CJ Stroud was. Um, not that flash in a pan. I I I thought he was going to digress this year. Um, but with the signings of Joe Mixon, a capable running back that has, can run for 12, 13, 1400 yards. And now that they have Stefan Diggs, um, and that disturbingly, it's not going to happen for probably year three. It'll probably happen when yeah, Stefan Diggs tries to go somewhere else. He'll be, he'll be fine for probably a couple more years. Yeah. They, oof, yeah. The Texans frightened me and they were, and it just showed that any team that takes longer than a season to rebuild is crap. They did it in one year. They turned around in one year from the destruction that was Bill O'Brien. Yeah. I, I was going to say, St Derek Stingley Jr. Oh, yeah, that's where I saw it. Yeah, That, that defense is uh, – yeah. That defense is so good. I'm like – Yeah. Yep. I'm like, yeah, it's, they are. And it's going to be good for a long time too. Like they're young. Yeah, because they're all like third and – Fourth year at the most. Yeah, after the Bill O'Brien thing, they were an utter dumpster fire. One year later, well, two years later, because one year later was last year, two years later, they're going to win the AFC South. Handily. Yeah. Yeah, I I don't like uh, uh, Jacksonville. Ugh, uh, they went from, like, like I this, said to you in my comments, look at Kansas City to, like, not even make the playoffs the next year. It's like. Give me a break. Look, look at look at the numbers. 2020, what was it? 2021 to 23, Trevor Lawrence was an inferior quarterback to 2015 to 2017, Blake Bortles. That's all I'm saying. Don't get me wrong. I like Trevor Lawrence. I like him as a human being. He's one of those guys that actually hasn't done anything wrong. No, no. I hasn't. just don't think he's going to be a superstar. I think he could be a very capable starting quarterback, but I don't think he'll ever reach superstardom. I think he will he'll reach a top 15 at some point, if not yeah, already. Yeah, he'll be top half. He'll um, be in the top half of quarterbacks, but I don't think he'll ever crack like top 10. But top 10, like, I, I know on my stream last night, I was like, 
I, I, still, said, well, I, I stand I by my statement that Josh Allen said, is not a top five quarterback. He said Josh Allen was a top five quarterback, and you said I no. Disagree. And I was like, name four other quarterbacks. That's but here's the thing. Josh Allen. I don't think there are any quarterbacks in the league other than maybe one or two that would be worthy of calling a top five quarterback. And I don't want to give somebody top five status just because they're the best of what's left. Well, that's the problem with the league this year. Most turnovers by a quarterback since 2021, Josh Allen. Get granted, yes. I'm like interceptions, and then yeah, he runs the ball a lot, so he's going to fumble. Um, and but here's the thing: he lost his only receiver that he was consistently throwing to. They no, got that- rid of him. Gabe Davis was going was becoming a superstar as well, and he's but no then again, But either. then he always looks off. He always goes to somebody else. But he was he always, constantly throwing to Diggs, 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 Diggs. Diggs is gone. Yeah, I, I, I know. I think that's what they. I think that's what he needed. But I don't understand why the Bills would get rid of um, uh, uh, the guy I just said. Um, Diggs. No, no, uh, uh, the other receiver. Um, oh, um. Chef, uh, yeah, whatever his name was. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Why would you let him run? Exactly. If you knew that you were going to get rid of Diggs, I'm like, yeah, it's a, so- they're it's a, they're in the middle of a hundred of a hundred percent teardown. They know their windows closed and they're prepping for the future. Gabe Davis, thank you. One of my Gabe Davis, thank you. Um, thank you. My, one of my, my friends just messaged me on Discord. She's watching the stream. <laughs> my issue. My issue with um, um, with Josh Allen and the Buffalo Bills, I had – there was Dawson Knox. Yeah, Dawson Knox is their tight end. They had um, – um, And I'm sorry. A, a good running back. Very and capable running back in single They Singletary. stopped running. And like, they would run him. for the first month, and then they would stop running. Then they yeah. would not throw to Dawson Knox – and then all of a sudden they throw a Dawson Knox and you get touchdowns. And then they stop throwing to him because they go to digs all the time or he takes off running. And that was that was my always my complaint with Josh Allen. Um, the, but the in my is, opinion, he's a top five quarterback in the NFL that we have today. Yeah, in the NFL that we have now, yes, but that's a sad statement. I'm just I'm just it, saying. Because it, it, it I, I'm really sorry, but be. look at all the great quarterbacks back in the day that actually could run a lot of people forget John Elway was a very mobile quarterback but he relied on his arm he used the legs as an escape you know not as the first weapon of defense it's not like oh don't see anything pull down and run and that's what a lot of quarterbacks not just Josh Allen but a lot of quarterbacks in the modern current NFL are doing you look at your new quarterback Russ he's gonna be awesome (laughs) <laughs> hey, I don't care. I don't care. But here's the thing. No, did, did you notice that years, the new right? quarterback room is Russell Wilson and Russell Wilson 10 years younger? Yeah. Yeah. Tell that's me, what... I, I think it's I think Omar Khan should be nominated for sainthood. How because... do you turn that quarterback room around the way you did for under four and a half million dollars? How many years do you see? Um, Russ being the starting quarterback for the Pittsburgh Steelers. Not even one. Not even a full season. You think Fields? I think he'll start. I think by midseason, Fields will outplay him. Yeah. But the caveat to this is, I think Russ plays at a pretty good level, enough that he's going to be able to be traded in the off season. Or we only got him on a one year deal. They'll probably let him walk. Oh, so so you think he's going to play well? And yeah, I think I think Russell Wilson. Well? If you look at Russ's numbers last year, he was better than a lot of people want to think he was. He was top ten numbers, top five in some categories. Yeah, with a coach who did not like him. Yeah, and made no bones <laughs> about it. That that is uh, that's the yeah. who, truest who statement ever. Who was it? It was some somebody that played back then. Said the Sean Payton was not running the Sean Payton offense that he ran in New Orleans. Yeah, I mean, six games, that's about what I think, six, seven, eight games. And honestly, I think considering Russ's age and the past couple of years he's had, if he can pull off six pretty pretty decent games and then Fields comes in at an elevated level of play because he has to compete against Russell Wilson, okay. 
So with those six games, what's their record after after going into week seven? Depending on the schedule, I say three and three, four and two. Depending on the schedule. I want, though, everybody wants it. The funniest thing the NFL could do. (laughs) The first Monday night game of the year is Steelers-Denver. Oh, yeah. That is the opportunity to be the funniest thing in the NFL's history. That if Russ can walk back into Denver and slay the Broncos while they're paying him $39 million. Let us not forget that. The Denver Broncos are paying Russell Wilson $39 million this year to play for the Pittsburgh Steelers. Yeah, I know. Pitt Steelers are paying him what? One and a half million? 1.2. They're paying him million? They're paying him literally league minimum. <laughs> 1.21 million dollars is Russell Wilson's salary from the Steelers. That is awesome. <laughs> he has he has six figure dead cap. That's less than Nate Herbig, our backup center, the backup <laughs> guard. He has less dead cap room than a backup offensive lineman. Holy jeez. <laughs> so regard and everybody's like, why would you sign him? It's costing the Steelers nothing. Right. <clears throat> and then Justin Fields for a sixth round pick next awesome year. Move. Awesome move. I, I, and at the worst. As soon as I saw the, that, I was like, the Bears absolutely screwed themselves with that. I don't understand why they traded, why they traded him. Um <clears throat> My my feeling was always, you trade that first round draft pick, you keep Fields for that year, you hope to get a fourth or fifth, then you trade, and then then you um, no. draft like a Harrison, um, and then uh, so you have weapons, and then you have more picks going down the line because you're going to get like a first round draft pick next year, you're going to get uh, a, and probably a second this year, and you know a second third this year as well. I'm like, you could have like stacked that team. True, but they've had they brought Justin Fields no weapons before that. The their mistake and why they got a conditional fourth round pick in 2025 for Justin Fields, while the Steelers got a third round pick this year for Kenny Pickoff, the Bears, as soon as the season was over, they said we're done with them. They lost all their negotiating leverage when they said, we're going to get rid of him at the end of this year. So every team just sat back and waited like, well, they're going to get rid of him at some point. We'll just wait. Yeah. And then Omar Khan walks in like, look, dude, the best you're going to get is a conditional fourth round (laughs) next year. Take it or leave it. They took it. Hey. And then the Steelers are paying him. uh, They, I, I, don't think they decided officially on his fifth year option, but I think they're going to decline his fifth year option. And if I was smart, sign him to a new deal. Yeah. Pay him like top backup money. Like, look, kid, right now, you're the backup for the moment. Will you take over eventually? More than likely. I, I think it's genius. So and Chicago <laughs> shot themselves right in the foot when they said we're done with them. Oh. Big time. Okay, so I think the perfect Chicago, I think the perfect Pittsburgh Steelers schedule would start off Monday night, like you said, Pittsburgh versus Denver. Second week, go to Seattle, or Seattle comes into Pittsburgh, Pittsburgh versus Seattle. Do they do they play Seattle this year? I don't know if they do, Is but it- uh, but they do play. I think they. I'm not sure if they play the West, but uh, hey, if if if, if that's an yeah. option. That's a perfect second week, and then and then the seventh um, and then the seventh week when Justin Fields takes over, they go up against the Chicago Bears. <laughs> That's what I want. Is that would be the perfect storyline for the NFL? Okay, here we go. They haven't announced the order yet, but they've announced they have announced the opponents and the oh, have they? way. Yeah. Okay. Uh, the Steelers. <laughs> boop, 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 boop. Outside of the division, the Steelers are going to play Washington, Kansas City, the Chargers, the Cowboys. The, okay, so they got the – Oh, so they have the NFC East. They've got the NFC mm-hmm. East for the most part. Denver, uh, the Giants, yeah, Dallas. The Raiders they got. Uh, so they have the AFC West. The Falcons, the Colts, and the Jets. Uh, so they don't play any of those teams. 
No, so they do not play Chicago. They do there not goes play that. Yeah. That would that would be. But the then, it, but then, but then, my next question is later, Brian. But my next question is: Brian. Do the Chiefs move across the border, or do they go elsewhere? See, I I, I didn't even know until you said that last night that there's even a poss a remote possibility. Well, there's no you- possibility. They're gone. The really? the city of Kansas City voted down a I think it was like a 20 year long tax to pay for the stadium. The the majority of the city said no, we're not paying for it. That's so they're not getting a new stadium, which means they're out of there. That's nuts. Wow. And so then you know, do they just honestly, if Kansas City, Kansas, which is like a mile or two away, right across the border, just move yeah. over. You don't have to change anything. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Either that or they're gonna have to relocate somewhere else. I mean, hey, we Toronto, all know what's happening. Toronto needs an NFL team. I'm I, I'm I'm okay with the, with Kansas City coming to Toronto. And, we, and Rescue Rice, I, he, there's no – we have the 401. What a, you, what you a pile <laughs> of human excrement. I hope Trev and SRJ watch this on the Rewind. What a pile of human garbage. Him and Cam Sutton. You know, I, Rasheed Rice destroys all that massive traffic accident and he issues an apology. Get bent, kid. But it's okay. See, okay, so I haven't kid. even heard any of this yet. So – so oh, he did issue an apology. The cops were hunting him down. I I, I, he, I saw that. Yeah, he but caused then, a massive traffic a, accident. But then there was like a rumor that he might not have been in the car. So he was driving that. No, car. he 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 came and forward and admitted. Yeah, but he's like, oh, I'm like, I will admit, I will cooperate fully. You ran away from an accident, you <laughs> chump. Yeah, that's. But so that doesn't he, matter. So he's getting away with nothing. Which is which yeah. is good for me because I have Rashid Rice on my fantasy team, and I was so mad. Extra. I was yeah, so it mad. It looks like Kansas City, Kansas, is making a hard push for a stadium for the Chiefs. So they could still they be. Can, Kansas City. Who's paying for their stadium? That's the question. Right. Uh, uh, yeah, I've heard that, and that to me. All I know is if the mayor of Dallas. Chiefs go back to Dallas. <laughs> we should bring the Chiefs what? back to Dallas. Yeah, for the one year that they were there as the Dallas Texans before they moved to Kansas City. I didn't but know that. Event, yeah, the oh, mayor wow. of Dallas said this. And you know, you know, Jerry Jones <laughs> went to his office and simply said, don't run for re-election. <laughs> if the mayor of Dallas thinks he has more power than Jerry Jones... <laughs> Swing and a miss, dude. That's that would be, <laughs> that, that'd be insane if <laughs> no that there no this was a legitimate thing. This wasn't even like one of those clickbait stories. The mayor of Dallas actually said we want the Chiefs to come back to Dallas. This was not on April first. <laughs> no, this was I think two three days ago. Wow. Yeah, Jerry Jones would not be happy with that. <laughs> that would uh, not go well. God, no, he would not permit that to happen. And honestly, I don't think the NFL would permit it to happen either. Uh, and right, and rightfully so, I, uh, at it's this point. Right now. Hmm. But honestly, we have all seen what's going on in Oakland. And we all know where the Oakland Athletics are going to be next year. Not in Oakland. No. No, they're going to be playing in San Francisco. I was going to say, wh- where did they say they're playing? Uh, they're going to be bouncing back and forth between San Francisco and the AAA Stadium in Las Vegas, Cashman Field, where the where the also um, they're actually going to be year. starting in Las Vegas next year. Oh yeah, no, they they've started construction on the stadium. Oh, okay. Yeah, the stadium will be built. I think twenty twenty eight, the A's will officially be in Las Vegas. She so they're going to be doing that for like four years. Yeah. So at this point, the Oakland Chiefs. <laughs> You know, would keep them in the same division? I don't know. It's going to be all kinds of crazy. But that, yeah, they wanted a lot of money, and Kansas City said, uh-uh. "Nah." Well, I don't know how Buffalo. Oh, I know how Buffalo passed their new stadium because it's not being built in Buffalo. Oh, where's it being built? Uh, and it's not going to be in Orchard Park either, where the stadium is now. There's going to be. Is that across the street or something? It's not far. I can't remember what neighborhood they said, but it's not 
it's one of the suburbs of Buffalo. Oakland never so, Oakland's never supported their teams, and then uh, and then they do this money ball crap that ruined baseball and they don't even like they like their rookies but then they don't like when they actually become good players <laughs> no that's the pittsburgh pirates <laughs> that's that's pittsburgh too <laughs> i mean um well hold on i as a young pirates fan remember seeing tim wakefield in a pirates uniform wow you know? 1969 right no, he was in like early nineties, you know, and then he went yeah. to Boston, and became a monster. Rest in peace, Tim Wakefield. Yeah, Tim Wakefield was a good one. You know, I remember Garrett Cole in a Pirates uniform. Oh, they, they, everybody forgets that he Pittsburgh. spent the first couple of years of his career in Pittsburgh oh. before he went to the Yankees. Oh, jeez. Actually, what years? What years was he on? Was he on the Pirates? I think it was like three or four. Garrett Cole. It saddens me every time I see one of his cards. <laughs> uh, yeah, he hey, he played for the Pirates for five years, 2013 wow. to 2017. Then he went to Houston, and then he went to the Yankees. And he's been see, I, see, I remember him in Houston and then going to the Yankees. Yeah, he was an all-star with the Pirates. What about that? Yeah, but that's what I mean. The Pirates just will ship them off. Although they signed, was it um, Key Brian Hayes or O'Neill Cruz? They actually gave him a contract extension. Oh, did they, they? I didn't know they knew how to do that's that. <laughs> <laughs> they haven't done that since the 80s. But yeah, uh, Pittsburgh had so much, so much potential for so many years, and they just couldn't, uh, they, they just couldn't get it whether they didn't want to spend the money or whatever it is. Yes. Like, Especially when the, when the current ownership took over, that guy is full. He's gone in front of the press and said, I don't care. I'm not spending money on this team. I'm using it to make money. Yeah. <laughs> Watching two streams. That's, that's always the hard part. <laughs> well, here, here. And spe since Adam's here, I'm going to blame the Atlanta Braves for the pirates awfulness. Ooh. 1992 NLCS. That's all I'm going to say. Sid Bream started it all. <laughs> and no, do you think about it? Because starting in 1993, they went on a 20-year losing streak. Jeez, it's the Atlanta Braves. Uh, the curse. longest losing streak in professional sports in North America. 20 consecutive losing seasons. I remember vividly, I think it was in... 2000, they were 62 and 100. That's a tough season. That's why I don't, that's why I don't pay attention to baseball anymore. <laughs> yeah, that's that's a tough season for sure. Yeah. But, well, you win. Blast. Hey, but hey, but we, you, you got the fan points. I'm like, if you had just gotten. You know, one or two extra. If you get, if you had one extra rook, you know, I'd have one. Lit, 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 you know, this is what happens when I have to rely on the Pirates or a Toronto team. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. The Pirates are letting you down, even in the CVE. Yeah. Well, no, because one of my friends, one of my friends is from Toronto originally. Oh, okay. yeah. She sent me something the other day. It was no wonder the, the Leafs are blue. They've been choking since 1967. It's like, ooh. <laughs> yeah. Because we, because hey, to be oh. fair, we don't know what color the Maple Leafs uniforms were the last time they won the championship because it wasn't a color photograph. It was black and white. That, that's a, that is a documented fact. The Toronto Maple Leafs are the only NHL team that have won a Stanley Cup that don't have a picture of them in color with the cup. Right. And oh, Zach, talk about hockey. Pittsburgh with a big win gets us right into that wild card mix. Get them out of there. Is it going to happen? Is it going to happen? Probably, and then they're going to get bounced in five games. They'll win a they'll win a cheap was, game on a garbage goal, but they Tristan Yar, Jari is not good. I like Tristan Jari. I I don't think any of it is his fault. I think if anything, it's that defense. It's the lack. It's it's the to lack. To be fair, of that's not years. helping. But, but he you sometimes lets in that, six, seven goals. You cannot tell me that Tristan Jari is that 
our backup Neminen or whatever his name is is better than Tristan Jari. No, they're both terrible. I'm okay. not saying I'm not saying either of them are good. No, absolutely not. Will, you're still you're still a member of the CWO. I'm like, even even with right now, when you're you know, go talk to Sticks G, say that you want to be a manager. Maybe you can be a special guest referee, you know. Um, um do some uh, do some of the C C uh CWO's dirty work, and then hey, you are right Malkin. back in. Uh, do they want do they want Malkin? Does Boston want Malkin? We'll trade. <laughs> I'm so disappointed in Malkin. I'm like, I love Malkin. I have Getty Malkin. I was the first one that I was like, you know what? I don't care if they sign Crosby and Malkin and Latang back. I had a problem with that. I, I had a massive problem with that. They, have done, they, they did so much for Pittsburgh Penguin hockey that I was willing to watch a year of them not just not, not make the playoffs just so, they, just so I wouldn't see them on another team. A I lot think- of Pittsburgh fans said that last year when that happened. Third month of the season, like can't believe we did that. Look at what look at what has become well, of it. I was gonna, Don't get I was, me wrong. Say- it is absolutely incredible in this day and age for three people to be on the same team for 18 years. Here's the problem. You have three people that have been on the same team for 18 years. Yeah, that's the problem. Okay, so 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 I was gonna say Evgeny Malkin. He looks slow. He looks, I don't know if he's injured, but he's been injured he's he's been all season. And I'm like, I, I, I want to see uh, Pittsburgh and Ottawa in December. Crosby looked absolutely amazing. I'm like, he definitely deserves that kid is something play. else. He is amazing, but it's Malkin. Oh my gosh. He looks, he looks slow. And that's it. He's just, he's getting old. Like he's a, he's had a long career a physical career, he's getting old and tired. Yeah. There's nothing to be ashamed. That man has had a Hall of Fame caliber career, hands oh, down. 100%. <coughs> oh, like 100% but, he, he but has. You know, but every great player eventually gets old yeah. and, and loses a step. Except Yager. <laughs> Tell me I'm wrong. The, the, I think he played like 20 games last year for Kladno. Did he really? I, yeah, he did. He's a fourth liner. He keeps himself on the last line. Only comes in when he really needs to. Yeah, I know, I know. Hey, hey at least you got to see your team win a World Series. I, I barely see my team make the playoffs. <laughs> when was the last uh, time they made the playoffs? Well, I guess it was 93. They, oh. No, they got in the wild card game 20... May have been the year Garrett Cole had went... Uh, was an all-star like 2015 or something i think they got in the one game playoff but then they lost in the wild card game he, oh, can, he can definitely still play. he can definitely still he play. scored i think like 50, like five ten goals last year yeah the guy's still putting up numbers and, and and i think i read that he counting international play international play included so olympics foreign leagues whatnot okay he, I believe, is the all-time points sco- leader in the history of hockey. Wow. Yeah. Because don't forget, Gretzky didn't play much on the international team at all. Like maybe no. one or two appearances with things. Yep. Yeah. You know, but Yager's been in – Yager's been going to the Olympics and the World Championships since it was still Czechoslovakia. Yeah. And that was in the early 90s. I was going to say, to be fair, yeah, Gretzky couldn't play on any Olympic teams until 90. 90 yeah. It was, or was it 92? Yeah, because I think, I think it was – it was it 94? 94. Oh, 94 maybe yeah, 94, 98. 98. Because, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I think it was, it was 92 when the NBA sent the Dream Team, and that was the first right. time, at least in North America – that professional athletes had been had been able to go to the Olympics. Yeah. So yeah, and and that would have been later on in Gretzky's career. And really, like Wayne, he 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 did. He kind of like because he was on his, his, his tail end of his career. Kind of was a tail end of his was career. A, I think a can of the cup. He was on a can of the cup, and yeah, it was yeah. him and Lemieux on the same line. Yeah, which is terrifying. Yeah. 
Like, yeah. Can you imagine? Oh. Like, what do you do? What do you do <laughs> against – it doesn't matter. I could have been the third person on that line, and I would have scored 10 goals at Olympics. <laughs> you know? You have Lemieux and Gretzky, two of the greatest to ever play the game, on the same line. That's terrifying. It's it's absolutely terrifying. <clears throat> And I want to know who, who, like, who was on the back end of that? <laughs> was was it like Ray Bork or uh, Paul Coffey was on Paul there? Paul Coffey, oh. I, I believe Paul Coffey was on that team. Um, I don't know. Somebody probably knows. I think it was eighty. So it was in the eighties. I think the the Canada Cup. Yeah, Paul. They Paul Coffey was amazing. They just thrashed everybody. Like who, who could? It, not even the Soviets had a prayer to stop them. Oh. And that, that's how long ago it was that it was still the Soviet Union. So we're looking pre-1991. Yeah, exactly, right? You know, there's your history of sports. <laughs> watching this shenaniganry. But, well. Well, we just went from baseball to football to hockey, so. <laughs> that's what I do. Jack of all trades, master of none, but still that's better than being a master of one. But I got to say, I like those uh, I, I like those Santa Claus cards that you had on your stream on Jank Pack Thursday there. I'm, I'm yeah. sorry, but they missed a huge opportunity to put some Santa-related information on the back of those cards. I know, exactly. <laughs> However, as I now copy wrote, Santa with the drip, you know, Santa was rocking that outfit in the 30s. <laughs> he was, he was. Yeah, no, they missed a huge opportunity there. Um, like because but, there was like nothing on the back of those cards. I'm like, they could have had like a little write up of the history. Of, yeah, just something like you know, you know, like they pulled out the 1890 European one. Like, oh, in this country, they referred to him as yada yada yada. Yep. And he would come around and give kids blah blah blah, right? And yeah, and I still think they should have put Krampus in there. <laughs> God bless Krampus. <laughs> we have been classic. <laughs> this is what we do. Picks, you know. So I, I don't, I don't follow by anything. I just go with what I, I, I just run with what I got. Have a chipper night there, Adam. Thanks for right, stopping Adam. by. How's it going, brother? Adam had a big uh, card sale today, and uh, oh, did he? Yeah, yeah. Oh, I, man, I saw I him live. I think around. I saw him at seven. He probably went on around five o'clock or so. My, my because back, I kind of caught it at the tail end. My back's been bothering me for a couple of days, so I've been laying low. I hear you. Da, 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 da. Let's see. Yeah, football's been really quiet tonight. Nobody's doing anything shenaniganous. You know. No, I just, something's gonna happen. Something huge is gonna happen. So, something's yeah, something is well, looming with the draft and, coming up, and, and uh, we can all say days since last Antonio Brown incident zero. He's back. <laughs> what, did he off, what did he well, do? What did he do? He threatened the Steelers because they gave out number eighty four to Cordero Patterson. Oh really? And then he said, "I'll come back and play for the Steelers, but they have to give me number eighty six. We don't want you. That's why we got rid. That's why we got rid of you in eight twenty nine million dollars in dead cap. You idiot. We don't want you. You decimated the Raiders without even suiting up for them. And then you got thrown. And then you got thrown off of the. <coughs> thrown off of the New England Patriots, and then walked off when you were playing for the Jets. So yeah, I, I don't think there's. I don't think anybody's really missing. Oh, but. You, do you see the, the Chase Claypool news? Oh, no. Yeah, he's going back to Canada. The NFL's oh, he's going to the CFL? CFL? The CFL added them to the list. One team in particular. Oh, okay. Hopefully, hopefully it's my Hamilton Tiger Cats. That would be no, – uh, It was just – He'll go to BC. I think he's a BC boy. Well, he's from, Van, my... he's from the Vancouver area, but it was uh, Saskatchewan that put him on the negotiation list. Oh, well, was it? Oh, yeah. so oh, – Because I saw, I saw the headline. It said Rough Riders. It's like, okay, which one? Like which one? Um, because, it, there's only one Rough Riders now. 
I thought Ottawa, or no, they're the Red Blacks. Now. Ottawa used to be the, yeah. They yeah. used to be the Rough Riders, but it yeah, was yeah. two words. They, they, yeah. they used to be the Rough Riders, now they're the Red Blacks. Yeah, I forgot. But, uh, yeah, we'll go back to Canada, dude. Sorry. It's funny, nope. two days ago there was a news story. Steelers, Justin Fields working with Chase Claypool. Yeah. That's not, that's not good, Justin. <laughs> Why? Well, yeah. No, to get used to a tall receiver. CFL team adds former Bears Steelers wide receiver Chase Claypool to negotiating list. Telling you, man, I am up to date on all most of the football knowledge. That is I was I was huge. I was huge with Chase Claypool. I'm like that rookie season, he was I wanted him to be good, but then when I sat there and watched a six foot four inch wide receiver get out bodied. By a five foot nine cornerback. Right. Go away. <laughs> Justin, if you want addresses, I got a, I got the CFL addresses for you. I, I have had some success with CFL teams in the past. Have you? I, I have I have a box of, of of the hobby and so I have tons of uh CFL cards. I should I, I should uh start mailing some out and getting some I got, I got Ricky Ray in one of his last years with Toronto. Oh that's sweet. That'd be um I I won a Rocket Ishmael actually off of your uh, off of your show with John and with John Burgess and uh, Sensa. Yeah, he's a really good signer. I just keep forgetting to send to him. And I'm like, I love Rocket Ishmael. Like, obviously, he's a Notre Dame guy. Go, went to Toronto before he went to the NFL. Followed yeah, him in the NFL. He was he he was he was he was okay in the cfl i think it late like yeah, his, his last couple of years and like he, you can see like that speed he just didn't uh like a lot of the nfl guys they don't know how to if the field's bigger the football's bigger um, that, that's what it is you know they they you often forget that the field is bigger time. there's more people on the field it's a completely different style of game yeah but him and pinball oh. clemens they were they were they were pretty yeah, I've, I've tried pinball Clemens in the past. I know he, or he, at least he used to be in the Argos front office, but I never had any luck with him. Yeah, I don't, you know, he's no longer in the in the front office, but yeah, he was the he was the GM for a few years. Yeah, a long time. But no, yeah. I get, but I did get Ricky Ray, which is awesome. And he sent me back like four extra ones. Oh, nice. Because I didn't have any CFL cards. I just sent him a random thing I printed out, and he sent me back like three oh. signed CFL cards too. Oh, that's and then like two years later, he got inducted into the Hall of Fame as the greatest quarterback in the CFL's history. Basically, yeah, he was he was he was fun to watch. Like, dude, he was insane. Him and Emmitson, and then him going to Toronto. I'm like, and that's the thing. He dominated for both teams. Ooh, uh, Rockets at the Dallas Cardinal very often. Saw him playing the night. Yeah, the '91 Grey Cup. He dodged a. Dodged a bear at the seven yard line. I, I thought it was a bear, and I'm like, no, I, I wouldn't even. Yeah, I wouldn't even have questioned if it was a bear <laughs> at the seven yard line on TD return. Yeah, that's Canada. We throw beer. We we you know Blue Jays in what 2015. We had that beer of <laughs> that beer incident. Oh, come on. It, it, nothing, nothing will compare <laughs> to Philadelphia pelting Santa with snowballs. <laughs> yeah. You know, I saw that. Does Rod Smart sign? He hate me? Oh, God. Um, I honestly don't know. Oh, he hate me. Yes, imagine him. No, no. It's, Does he, he have any cards? Oh, he did play the he played that. Honestly, I game. don't know. I don't know if he played long enough. I re- uh, that's a really good question. Zach, thank you, Tony and John, for letting me show in-person Weird. autos, and I'll go for some Charlotte Knights this year. Charlotte Knights, what is that? That's uh, AAA baseball for. Oh, that's AAA baseball. Well, who are they AAA for? I can't remember. I I legitimately can't remember. They come up to Rochester a lot to play the Red Wings. I know that they're in that part of the International League. Oh, okay. I want to say I can't remember. I'm sure he'll tell me in a minute. But in any event, we'll wait for the stream delay. White Sox. Thank you. Well. Socks. I knew it was an a, I knew it was an AL team, but I couldn't remember which one. Because I know yeah, the, the red the Red Wings here used to be the Twins up until like three four years ago. Now we're the Nationals. Oh, you're the Nationals now. 
Yeah, you, they used to be they used to be the twins for the longest time because I I remember I saw a couple I saw Byron Buxton a few times when he was in town before he oh well, you know a couple of guys if anybody remembers the name Boof Bonzer he was big in AAA made it to the majors and just couldn't really do much unfortunately but I had a great name I'm not sure if this is when I'm I'm going to uh, the Jays next Saturday. Actually, I'm going Saturday and Sunday. So, <clears throat> and they're playing Colorado. Remember during when? Uh, hopefully, during we, COVID, hopefully we get a couple sh- dubs there. COVID when they shut the border and the the Blue Jays were on this side of the border. Oh my God, we played in the stadium in Buffalo. Two months in Florida, and then we went to Buffalo, I think, or we played a month in Florida. No, they played in Buffalo and then had to go to Florida because... Oh, was it the opposite way? Yeah. Yeah, the problem was where Buffalo's stadium is situated is right by the interstate. Balls were hitting the interstate. (laughs) Yeah. Like, like I remember, like... Like, there were many reports of home run balls bouncing off of Interstate 90. (laughs) So, and because because it's a Triple A baseball stadium, they're not used to the major leaguers. They're not used to the ball having that much flight. Yeah, I mean, but when you're having major league stadium. when you're having major league games at a Triple A in a Triple A stadium, incidents are going to happen. So I don't. So yeah. So so we do have a hotel in the stadium, and we have had some incidents in that hotel a couple of times because there's certain rooms that look out onto the field and. Uh, no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, and then I think a couple of years ago, there, there was people in the uh, 500 level, and they were caught, uh, you know, doing the nasty. And, uh, little dibbity, little yeah. dibbity. Yeah. So I, I, I don't know, Will, if you want to go there and you're just going to, like, show everybody your stuff, but <laughs> make sure I'm not there. <laughs> Baseball. Yeah, I just <laughs> no. I can't, man. They're uh the, the pirates I, hurt me deeply. I find that the game is it's 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 being rushed. Um Major League Baseball wants the game rushed, like they don't want the four hour marathons anymore. Yeah, because um, the fans won't stand for it. And I, I'm I'm just like I just I go into the ballpark and like it's just like that. Here, wait, unfortunately, it's too Will's expensive. Comment. Back uh, to my WWE rant. Let's see, Is all right, a, let's appear to rest. Did they, did they first off win the championship? For, yeah, for all you Eagles fans, apparently you have only seen one center ever. Jason Kelsey was a good center. He was not a great center. I have never seen a center take so many off or false start penalties in my life. No. <laughs> and if that, if he wants to go, the WWF will hire him. Guaranteed. You know, just another 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 fat guy to go in and stumble around the ring. Congratulations, Jason Kelsey. Well, it, it's funny because his shenanigans in Buffalo when Travis Kelsey was there, right? I'm like, I never really thought of him as uh, joining the WWE, but it makes it. sense he's, now because you know he's he's go out there in the he's window, just blow hard. He's perfect for the WWE. He he would be, <laughs> he would be. Like, and the, but this that that is one of the multitude of reasons I don't watch that garbage anymore. Logan Paul. If you don't understand why I said that, then you're buying into the fact that when the WWE scrubbed his history, but not really, go look back at the things Logan Paul has done in his past. And I hope, hope against hope, that if Jake Paul has the guts to step into a ring with Mike Tyson, (laughs) I hope Tyson just punches him until he stops moving. Yeah. I would, I would love, a, I'd love to see that. <clears throat> I don't think it's going to happen. No, it's not going to happen. It's all a huge publicity stunt. Did it's you see Tyson he's training? Real, he's not a real boxer. I'm like, Jake, no, he's a pilot. Crack. No, he's did you real. see the fit, the footage of Tyson training? 
I don't know. I, I heard supposedly that he might have been a few incredible. years ago. He looks incredible. I heard that might be three years ago, though. Even still. But yeah, no, man, even still. The man can walk out there and do basically whatever he wants to do to pretty much anybody. As, that's as, not a, yeah, as that's not saying, a boxer. He should be able to go out there and, you know, throw haymakers. <clears throat> it, will, will will he do that? I hey, after after Don King convinced him to fire everybody, he made a career, a short, well, a decent career out of being a one punch hitter or one punch fighter. Yeah, you know, there's a reason they called him the baddest man on the planet. That man is dangerous. Wow, well, he, he, he is. He is. Luckily for Jake Paul, if he gets into the ring, it'll be in a ring, which means it's sanctioned and controlled. You run into Mike Tyson in the street, you're not coming out of that. <laughs> no, no, not at all. I would, I, I, I love to see, I, I love to see, I love to see it, but I'm also scared to see it. I'm like, I just don't it think it'll be. It's not going to happen because there's just way too much risk. Like Mike Tyson, even without trying to, could end this kid's life. Oh, yeah, for sure. Uh, did you all see Dan Orlovsky rip a fat on McAfee? I'll send it to you. If I, 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 I didn't rip a fart, I think it was. I, I did I did see it. But I, I think I think that was – I don't think he actually did something. I think it was like it, – it sounded more like it was in from I, I, Joe. I'm like from I, Pat McAfee, I, I, Preston Watson or something. I have a hard time taking Orlovsky's opinion seriously, considering he's one of the few quarterbacks that ran out of his own end zone for a safety. <laughs> I'm sorry. I like Dan. I think he's go he's pretty decent. Although ESPN just cleaned house of a lot of people. See, I, I don't I don't rem I I don't remember hearing like we don't really get like we don't get ESPN, right? So we don't get everything that you guys get with. Uh, You're not missing. With You're really not missing much. Not getting ESPN. Uh, You're really not. I'm like I don't remember. I, I don't really remember hearing a lot from Dan, but I mean, there's so many people on ESPN now. It's hard to keep track of them. But they're they, they cleaned house, eh? Yeah, they got rid of a bunch of people. It's almost like. It's almost like Disney realized that you can't charge what you're charging for ESPN Plus and have people want to stick around for it. <laughs> Swing and a miss. Yeah. I actually will, uh, will going back to wrestling. It'll be interesting when wrestling goes back to Netflix or goes to Netflix at the start of 2025. Hopefully, we can get past this PG era and get into the get into Wait, wrestling's, the, wrestling's coming to wrestling. Netflix. Yeah, it's it's, well, it's uh, not to self get rid of Netflix. <laughs> yeah, it's 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 going to if, go if, if that if that freaking company in McMahon can get a dime, I'm not going to give them it. <laughs> cigar. Um. Well, Brian Prop has a cigar company, but his cigars are pricey. I checked out the prices. ESPN is almost unwatchable these days. Oh, it really is. It's kind of gross. Like. Like I don't know how Skip Bayless is continuously allowed to be on television. Yeah, I don't know how he, you guys allow him to be to run his mouth all the time. <laughs> well, no, 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 no. It's not. No, if he ran his mouth, it's one thing. You know, that's what Stephen A. Smith does. But the, yeah. just how horrifyingly racist Skip Bayless is. Like, oh. But it's funny watching him constantly implode every year <laughs> when the Dallas Cowboys just. Justin, why do the Cowboys do what they do? <laughs> I can only chalk it up to back in night back at the end of the 1995 season. The Steelers lost to the Dallas Cowboys in Super Bowl 30. But in doing so, they took the cosmic bullet for the universe because the Dallas Cowboys have not seen the Super Bowl since Super Bowl 30. <laughs> Hey, come to think of it, the Packers haven't seen the Super Bowl either since they beat the Steelers in 45. Hey. I like Bradshaw just because he's entertaining, but, like, I just – I don't watch – I can't – the pregame stuff, I just uh, – like, is, uh, 
Zach, unbiased. You like Bradshaw? Yeah. And Fox? Oh, yeah. Bradshaw is hysterical. I like I, I like Bradshaw. He's awesome. Yeah, I'm not even a, I'm not even a Steelers fan. Actually, it's funny. When whenever I win a contest from Daryl Giordano, um, if he if he sends football cards, he always sends me Pittsburgh Steelers cards. I mean, yeah. And I'm and I'm kind of like. Okay, the first couple, I'm like, whatever. I'm like, maybe you thought, but now I'm like, oh my gosh, now like it's well because you're constantly like, talking about the you're constantly talking about the Penguins, so he probably just figures you're a Pittsburgh fan. And probably last year I was a Pittsburgh Steelers when we played Madden, and uh... yeah, yeah. Although, and and I do have to say, weirdly, Jerry really likes football. Like, otherwise, he wouldn't be as weird as he is. <laughs> Although, Jerry disappointed me this offseason by sitting on his hands the entirety of it and doing nothing. One. One. Yeah. One signing. That was, that, was, <clears throat> What's that was so on Jerry that I can't even describe it. They have so many holes. How many draft picks do they have? They, like, I'm like, they oh, must enough. have, like, they must have, like, Two first rounders, two second rounders, two third rounders. Yeah, if they like, went out and got one, they'd even talk to Derrick Henry. I'm like, well, that's thing, like I'm, I was just constantly in awe, like everything that's happened, and you just don't see Dallas's name. Like, what are yeah. they doing? They should be right in the middle of everything because they always are. They lost uh, Vanden Bush, uh, so he's he he, he, oh, no, he retired. retired though. Yeah, well, yeah, yeah, he had to retire. Yeah, but I'm like, you still need. Um, like he, he's a big part of that defense. Gets well, that's the thing. Off. There were a couple decent linebackers in free agency they could have talked to. Yeah. Even the latest one, that Hudson, he just got signed by the Saints. I'm like, who's their starting running back now? It's going to be Blake. Yeah. Warm? Yeah. I don't know. I I'm mean, like, Pollard's gone. I don't know who's left. God. Yeah. I don't know. Okay. But either way, it's they, they have some. They have some issues that they need to fix. But all teams do. The Steelers have a lot of issues that need to be fixed. Yeah. And like, didn't J- uh, Jerry a couple months ago have like a Vince McMahon type of uh, thing, rumor going around? Not as bad as Vince McMahon, but it was... Uh, oh, no. It was the paternity suit. Oh, the paternity. Yes. And he never denied <laughs> anything. And eventually they just dismissed it because it was all bunk. No, yeah. Like, like he, you know, he was like, yep, is what it is. Because because he paid, right? So he paid up until... No, then that's the thing. He said, look, he had set up a trust thing for her. He acknowledged her as his daughter, set up like a whole trust fund and everything for her. Oh, really? Eh? And then... Something. But yeah, either way, it went nowhere because <laughs> they had nothing. And Jerry was like, like, I'm not hiding anything. Like, I know. <laughs> you know, it was like um before Dan Snyder was ousted as the um ousted as the uh Washington or the Washington. He was saying is like I have dirt on every single one of the owners. Like what? Like what do you have that we don't know? Oh, Jim Ursay does cocaine. <laughs> he told us that he did. <laughs> I don't know, because it's a. I mean, it's like probably a good old Primani sandwich, but they've been so watered down because everybody serves one these days. It sucks. But the original one, if you go to the strip district, the the real greasy spoon one, that's the place to get it. They're the same ones that are. It's that same chain that said. Um, I can't remember. It was some amount of money. Like they're paying twenty five bucks if anybody wanted to bring Kenny Pickett jerseys, just so they didn't have to have them anymore. <laughs> Well, I saw it's a post on, across the border to Philadelphia. It's no, I saw I saw well, you know, did you hear about those Yarmir Yager bobbleheads that somehow were stolen and ended up in Philadelphia? Oh Kenny Pickett did it. Kenny Pickett did it. 100 percent Calling it here. Kenny Pickett. <laughs> Kenny Pickett did it. Okay, Zach. Peep this. It's a peep, peep this. What's that? It's a brewery down in um oh. Hamburg, New York. It's about an hour and a half from me. Apparently it's a Marshmallow stout, but it just tastes like stout. 
so Zach, favorite food, favorite food from Pittsburgh. Is, is Pittsburgh known for anything food wise? The, the sandwiches with the French fries on it. Anytime you see that, that was you a Pittsburgh. French fries? Yeah, the the Primani sandwich. They give you a sandwich and they put like the coleslaw and the French fries on it. And the oh. reason, the reason I heard, nobody really knows for sure, but the urban legend I heard, um, there used to be. They changed the tailgating rules, but I I tailgated the crap out of all the games I went to, but they, they did it because the area it's in is the strip district and it was all truckers. They, you know, they would come in and unload freight. So they gave them a, sa- a sandwich that had like an entire meal's worth of food on it with the fries and everything. So they could eat it with one hand while they were driving. Mm. That's the rumor I heard. Don't know if it's a hundred percent true, but it sounds plausible. That's that is plausible. Um, yeah. Zach, do you I, want to meet y'all one day to shake your hand? Quite one painful. day, one day. I, I would love to. I would, I would love to like meet. Sure, there, at some meet point, there's probably going to be some sort of meetup somewhere. <clears throat> I'm like Zach. I, I think I commented on something. I'm like, you should because I think you're semi close to Toronto. I mean, distance wise, yes. I'm right across the lake from Toronto, but it's about a three hour drive because I got to go all the way around the lake and mm, then come yeah. back. Yeah. Then I don't know how I, I haven't been. I the last time I was in Canada was Canada Day 2017. Oh wow. The 150th. Where did you go? Niagara Falls? Yeah, just over to Niagara yeah. Falls. But it's like I was seeing all the 150 shirts and I wanted to get one and they were all freaking sold out. It's like, God, I and I'm like, what is going on? This is a lot more crowded than normal. And then they're like, and I looked at my phone, I'm like, oh crap, it's July 1st. Well, that explains the crowd. <laughs> For those for those Americans that don't get that, July first is Canada Day. <laughs> yeah, exactly. You guys have July fourth. We have July first. Fourth of July. You got the first of July. It was. Uh, I can't remember what the official thing was. I think it was the day that you became. Uh, yeah, the, it would be. Where you go. Yeah. Yeah, you became like the Confederation of Canada and. <clears throat> Actually, I found out the Canada that exists now, I'm technically older than. Because yeah. how Canada became what it is now was in like 1983. Um, oh. Actually, um, going back, I think it's because, yeah, we, we had just celebrated like 50 years or something. It was like 50 years a couple years ago for that. I think it was like yeah, sixty. Was it in the sixties? Yeah. Well, re, well, remind. Hit. Send me that on Instagram so I remember. Okay, bud. Because I'll. Yeah, can you message me Cindy Lopper address again? Yeah, I, I, I have it. I have all that stuff written down somewhere. Just also, what to say, Cindy? I love. Hi. You. Actually, I think she's an email. I think Cindy Lopper's an email now. I think you, you know, just send her an email. Will you go on a date with me? I'd ask her that. Are you kidding me? Hundred <laughs> percent. Hundred percent. Why? Just to say that I did it. <laughs> well, there ain't no shot. Hey, you miss all the shots you don't take. Well, that's what uh, I think. I think I think Gretzky was the one that said that and really yeah. brought it to prominence. But I think it may have been said before. But I think he. Was oh, it might have been. I yeah, Gretzky. Oh, uh, I'm. I know Gretzky had a lot of stuff going on with it. Actually, then this is. I'm not sure if you can, I'm not sure if I can put it in there. That's one of. Oh yeah. Yeah. Right. It's like you gotta be ahead of the curve. Something. But actually, if you think about it, the puck is a little behind the curve, which is the best place to be. You don't want to be in front of the curve. No. You want to be a step or two behind the curve. Um, I, I really collect comics. Um, I have, I have bought um like the Walmart um like the four pack, the five pack that that they do. Um, if anything, I would probably collect. I, I, I like Star Wars, so I probably collect Star Wars, and I probably collect um like the Marvel stuff, um, X Men, Spider Man, 
It, but like, do, do I have any of those like keys that Sith has and stuff like that? Not even close. I, I well, but to be I, fair, I, I, what I've learned from the comic guys is that any if anybody calls a book a key, it just means it's important to them, especially. Right. And like, I have a couple books that I would love to get one day, but all of them right now are very much out of my price range. Um, one day. Until then, I ain't gonna hold my breath. Unfortunately. So, so Zach, do you, do you, because I know that you're a big part of the comic book community as well. Like, I remember seeing you on like Brian LCS's streams oh, yeah. and all that stuff. Do you have a like? Do you have a comic collection like like as well? I've got a I've got or, a bunch. Not as I don't really. I really need to go through it. I have a bunch of stuff that I've just amassed over the years. I've won a lot of giveaways from guys. That's how right. I have most of it. <laughs> oh, I, I was gonna say that's me too. I'm. I think I won something from Cole, and I got yeah, one from Cole. I've won from. I think I won from. I may. Have, I think I definitely won from Trev. I won from a couple other people. I've won a few random comic giveaways. Brian, I've won a couple from. Brian, I won. Yeah, I did. I won one from Brian. Brian Brian's good people. Uh, Brian's a good guy. I yeah. Um, yeah, so I would say I won four or five from Brian. I think I got a few from, uh, from Cole and then I have like, I haven't shown them yet. I haven't opened them yet, but I've actually won two, um, numbered comic books or whatever. I even forget what they are now. I have to open them up. I'm going to do them. Um, but, uh, Yeah. I won. I won my very first card that was numbered, and that was that Fernando Tatis um, one. Um, and then I've won two comic books. Those are the only number cards I have until I bought. I bought three from Big Chief um, when he kind of like was selling his collection and stuff like that. So I have uh, I have a Jalen Waddle gem at ten rookie card, uh, and I think it was two Cooks. Um, um gem at 10 rookie cards oh the slab ones yeah i have a, i one of the then, comics that's I the only slabs i have one of the comics i won from uh phil phil tastic when i won it he told me that the artist that did the cover was actually having a private signing through cgc the comic grading company so i sent it in and i got it autographed and slabbed and that's the only slab comic i have oh yeah and it came back, and the only reason it came back a nine point eight instead of a well, they don't like to give tens. I've seen like pictures. I was saying, all I see is nine point eights. Like is I've that never it? seen anybody physically moving around a ten. I've seen pictures of them, but never an actual okay. one in motion. And I think part of the reason I, I got a nine eight is uh, I kind of dropped it. <laughs> and it what like because like phil sent it to me it was absolutely perfect and i'm looking at it and just like oh there you go oh no i lost two points on that (laughs) no i think either way it was coming back at a nine eight but it looks great it's signed it's slabbed it and it it just it's a catwoman cover it's freaking awesome looking so hold on let me see if i can find it do you send the comics do do you do you send the comics to the same people that you send the cards to or not um, Stuke Space. Oh, they, have, they have separate. They have they have different grading companies because okay. they have ones that specialize just in comics. Okay, I wasn't sure if it was. Yeah. Oh, that's a that's an awesome a, cover. Yeah, it's a. Oh, oh hold really on. Let nice. me uh, let me get you big and me small. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, that it's a Jenny Friesen cover of the Catwoman, and it was a private signing for them, and then they, I think. And it just, it's awesome. 9.8, let's freaking go. And I think all told, it was relatively cheap. It was like 80 bucks for the signing and the grading of it. And the grading of it alone is like, yeah. Like how, um, uh, who's not the, uh, P- PSA used to be? Like, mm. you know, 70 bucks a card. Like, screw that. Wow. Absolutely ridiculous. Like, why? I'm like, I, I, I don't understand the whole. Who knows? Getting, yeah. I'm just like, I don't understand the whole getting the cards, gem met tens or whatever. Um, last time I talked to Chief was probably. It's been a while. Since it, it's been like five months ago, probably. 
Yeah, I haven't seen him. I know people get busy. I was gonna say, okay, this guy right here, he yeah, has... that's it. Yeah, they do a lot of like the um, the trading card games. This guy has like he collect like I don't know what he doesn't collect. Like he did a video today. Oh, please, um, he knows everything. Do you want to talk about a, ma a, a, a jack of all trades right there? Oh my god, like Funko Pops. I, I commented on this video and I said, "Oh my god!" I'm like, "You're going to make me want to collect." Fun I, I have a few Funko Pops, um, but nothing. I have a, I have a Bob big. Ross Funko Pop, and that's all I care about. I have <laughs> Bob Ross and Mayor McCheese from McDonald's. <laughs> that's awesome. <laughs> and I got. I can't remember who got the Bob Ross one. Maybe my sister. I know my sister got me the Mayor McCheese. One of my friends got me the big one of Skeletor and Panthor, which is just freaking awesome. That is awesome. You know, he's down. He's that one lives downstairs above my above on the mantle. Oh yeah, that's an awesome. That would be an awesome one. Oh, but I'm like he he's what coins, comics, Pokemon, baseball. I think he even opens up hockey too. I'm like yeah. Absolutely ridiculous. And then he's, he's he's going for a Michael Jordan rookie card. He's inspired me to uh, try and get a Michael Jordan rookie card. And that's something I want. His goal is this year. My goal is like probably two, three, four years down the road. Uh, uh, but if I could, I, I'm not, I know I'm never going to get that. There are a couple like things on my white whale list. Like what would I like to have? There are a couple comics. There are a couple autographs. But I'm going to be realistic. Probably none of them are going to happen. Okay, so what comics? Actually, I'm going to look it up because I have it written down, but I don't have that paper. First, It's a first appearance, so you know. Oh, they Yeah, the first appearance seemed to be... Oh, here it is. X-Men number 12 from 1965. Okay. First appearance of the Juggernaut. Oh, that, yeah, that's a sweet... And that, it goes for... A CGC 3.5 sold for 825 US. Wow. That's what I'm talking about, that that book is out of my price range. Well, it's funny because I was and talking. That's a 3.5. That means it's been read. A yeah, it's, it's been read good too. I'm like, so, someone definitely enjoyed it. <laughs> yeah. And I ain't getting that. But actually, so Three Good Nerds was on before um, before we went live. He was playing Diablo. <clears throat> and I just asked him. I was like, okay, so how – because because we were talking about um, – what, what, I forget what we were talking I think hockey cards or something. And, uh, and, I, and, and I said, so how much is a PlayStation 5 there? I don't have a PlayStation 5 yet. yet. I'm wanting – So know. he looked it up. I think at your targets, they're like $5.99. I was that like, right. here in here in Canada, there's six ninety nine to seven hundred and fifty dollars still. Oh, and I'm to like, be fair, five ninety nine American, that's is, probably about that Canadian. It's it's probably around six fifty. Yeah, I'm probably. Like, Man, that's seven hundred dollars spending on his video game system. I just can't do that right now. <laughs> I have. What do I have? I've got. Is a that the, is that the same one for Magneto as well? Or is yeah, but there's that he's real. The Juggernaut's really the for only first appearance. I really kind of want, right? Just because I, I just because he's probably one of the more underappreciated characters. No, he's a, he he's a good character. That that'd be a good one to get for sure. And that's why I want to get the Vinnie Jones soccer card, even though he that was a terrible depiction of the Juggernaut. But it's not Vinnie Jones's fault. <laughs> That's in the soccer set. Vinnie Jones, the lovely British actor, had a pretty decent uh, football career over in the oh, over in England. Okay. So, so what is like a big card that you'd want that you don't have? Is there a big card, or or would it be more of an autograph? It'd be it'd be a Clemeni autograph. Oh, it'd okay. be a Clemeni autograph. That That's pretty sweet. That's oh, yeah. that's one of the grails. Any sort of Clemente autograph. Um, I've got a Willie Stargell. Uh, I've got quite a few, you know, big pirates. But Clemente is one that I would definitely want. Nice, yeah. And they let's put it this way: I have never, ever 
seen a Clementi autograph for sale that didn't have a comma in it. Oh, yeah. I, that all you have to put it that way. Franco, yeah, yeah I've got Franco on some photo. I think it's a I think it's a picture of him, Rocky Blyer, and Terry Bradshaw, and all three of them signed it. That it's uh, that's at my mom's house. I need. To I took that as I, I took that as a Wander Franco. <laughs> exactly, the Juggernaut is not a mutant. Unlike in that terrible movie, he he is, and I don't know what they would classify him, but he is a, an altered human. He is not a mutant at all. Yeah, I know my lore. Yeah, the funniest thing was the kid that did this tattoo. I handed him the drawing, and he was a younger kid. <clears throat> he was like, "So wait a minute. So this guy is like his uniform. You know, it's like so his clothing is red. Yeah, his armor is red." Yeah. His helmet's red. Yeah. <laughs> and he's like, well, hell, we can do that. So he did that whole thing on my arm in... Actually, there's no way I can... Uh, actually... Oh, wow. Yeah. But uh, he did that in like four, three, four hours, and that was including a break. Oh, wow. Comic Cat Collectibles is in the house. How's it going, my friend? What up? <clears throat> we just had a CB battle. Um, yeah, hey. Lost. You, you actually, I guess you couldn't, but uh, Zach won the fan choice award first. I lost, but, I, uh, but I'm good for 28 views. seven. I'm good for views. I mean, <laughs> anybody knows that I'm just I'm good for the views. Why I don't know, but I am. It's it's the beard that has to be my god, though. It's like, it's like they it's like when people are watching my shtick, it's like. Aren't there, isn't there anything better you could be doing? <laughs> like, seriously, I mean, who watches my my crap? No way! I'm like your stuff is your stuff is good. I try to be entertaining. Like, the, it, it, never let it be said it, I didn't do the least I could do to entertain somebody. Do I agree with your viewpoints at times? No, I hope not. I, I hope people differ. From, I hope people's opinions <laughs> differ from mine because you know that's it. They're just opinions. <laughs> You know, and if you can last year I was in love with it, it, and you weren't. You, but you showed me that obviously you were right, and I was wrong. He was out of a job. I'm the thing is, it's cool. like there's there's certain things that you just got to look for. And when he said flat out, "I'm not going to dress as the backup quarterback for the Seattle game, Week 17," I was like, "This kid is terrible." And on top of that, let's just be honest. In one in one game, Ben Roethlisberger had essentially half of Kenny Pickett's career statistics, with the exception of interceptions. <laughs> no, he has 13 career touchdowns. We've seen Roethlisberger and many other quarterbacks throw five touchdowns in a game. Yeah. I was going to say, the, the record for most touchdowns in a game – I think it's, it's seven. Eight. Eight. Oh, is it eight? seven? I, I can't remember. It's, it's seven or eight for sure. It's one of those two. Most yeah. touchdowns in an NFL game. Ah, no, by one player. That was giving me <laughs> it's say 29. 70, 70. <laughs> um, it was thrown a uh, couple. Actually, several quarterbacks have thrown seven touchdowns in a single game. Seven. Okay. Uh, the most recent would be Drew Brees did it in 2015 against the Giants through seven touchdowns. Wow. Nick Foles also. Peyton, Joe Cap, White, Tittle, George Blanda. Nick Foles, I'm like. <laughs> Adrian Burke and Sid Luckman. After that, there's a, a, a slew of guys. A slew of guys that have six in a game. Oh, there's the game in question when Roethlisberger, I'm sorry, threw six touchdowns. Six touchdowns. Yeah, I, somebody, I heard that somewhere. They picked off. <laughs> and I was like, oh, my God, it's true. And, I, and I'm sorry. Here's the most damning of all facts about Kenny Pickett's career in Pittsburgh. He has more games where he did not produce an, a touchdown than games with a touchdown. 
let us not forget, there was a six-game span mm. when Kenny Pickett did not throw or run for a touchdown. And yeah. that team still backed into the playoffs. What? My God, what could they do with an actual quarterback is the question. Yeah, that's true. I'm I think like, with Justin Fields in probably about week eight or nine, we're going to find out. And it's not like he didn't have weapons. I'm like, he had Deontay. He had Pickens. Well, he, had, that's the thing. he had He had Deontay Johnson, who is end. the master. Deontay Johnson, the one thing I will always give him credit for, I can't remember where he is, but he ain't in Pittsburgh anymore. Arizona? Yeah, yeah it don't matter. He, or no, didn't they? Atlanta. Tennessee? No, no. Uh, uh, Mason's in Tennessee. Rudolph's in Tennessee. Yeah, Mason's in Tennessee. I knew one of the Steelers went to Tennessee, yeah. but I couldn't remember. And I will say this. I wish Mason Rudolph nothing but the best. I'm surprised you, that I, Pittsburgh didn't give him an opportunity. I think he deserves an opportunity. He um, had an opportunity. He had a season and a half of opportunities. When he was out He was really good. No, he wasn't. Here's why. He was outplayed by Duck Hodges. You know who that is? Exactly. <laughs> Who's that? Yeah, Devlin Hodges. Out- Carolina. Will, you should have known who. Deontay Johnson's a Carolina. Oh, that's where he went. I knew he went. Oh, that's right. He was the player swap. He was the player swap for that cornerback. Yes. That's right. I remember that. <clears throat> but, no, he had Deontay Johnson, who is the master of getting open and finding space. He's just not real reliable in catching the football. No, he, no, he wasn't. But that I... man could get open more often than not, and he is dangerous in that regard. He just can't catch. Okay. George Pickens needs to curb his attitude. <laughs> He's like, I'm going to take number one. No, you're not, kid. And here's why. Two words. Gary Anderson <laughs> is far superior to anything you will ever do. Kids, for those of you who don't know who Gary Anderson is, look him up. He is number three on the all-time point scorers list in hey, NFL hell. history behind – the other Anderson and uh, Morton Anderson Morton. and uh, Vinny Terry, yeah. who's now number one. Oh, and I always anger people when I call him my favorite African American football player, but he was born in Africa. And oh. white is the dri- white is the driven snow, and he was born in Africa, <laughs> and went to Syracuse of all colleges. Weirdly, Syracuse. Yeah, no, Gary yeah. Anderson. Hey. Gary Anderson, the, the legendary kicker, went to Syracuse. <laughs> Jeez. Yeah. No, he came from South Africa. I, I think all through high school he was in Japan. I guess like when he said Africa, I was like, he definitely he was definitely in South Africa. Oh, 100 percent hundred percent You know, my second favorite African American football player, Christian Okoye, the Nigerian nightmare. But no, Gary Anderson was number one. They've unofficially retired number one. Um, and like if Fields wanted it, I'm sure if he would have called Gary, but the problem is actually, no, number one wouldn't have mattered because no Steeler has worn number one really since then. Yeah. So it's not like there was the whole thing with the, um, um, the Falcons and, uh, Kirk Cousins and swapping (laughs) jerseys with number eight. Yes. You know, because nobody's worn a number one for the Steelers since the nineties. As far as I can remember. The NFL's like, we have so many number ones out there. Well, that's the thing. Like if, and if fields would have called him, you know, it's not officially retired, but if he would have just called Gary, you know, call Calgary, it's not long distance anymore. Cause that's where he lives now. <laughs> or is it Cal? It's somewhere in the Calgary area. I don't know okay. if it's Calgary proper, but it's in that area. Yeah. Yeah. He's been, even when he was kicking for Tennessee, at the end of his career, he only showed up the day before the game and the game <laughs> because he was in Canada. He, he was running some like hunting tourism business or something. Oh, that's funny. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah. He flew into, he flew to wherever the Titans were playing for two days, kicked and then went back to Calgary for the rest of the week. You're just kicking. <laughs> Dude, he was Gary. An- he was Gary Anderson. You know, <laughs> yeah. at that point, nobody cared. Like, he knows he what he's doing. Right. Yeah. <laughs> It's like he'd been in the league for 23 years and is one of the greatest scorers in the history of the game. You're fine. <laughs> exactly. 
It's 11. All right. Go get spine ticks. Looks like it's 11 o'clock. Time for spine ticks. So let's go on over to Seth Lordley's channel. It's Saturday nights for spine ticks. All right. Peace out, guys. Thank Later, you for coming kids. in. 28 27. CBE is back. Better believe it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah.